Hi, this is my garden tour of what's going on basically on this July 14th in my backyard garden. We'll actually find your zen in your garden to actually plant, nurture, and unwind so that you can actually garden your way to a stress-free day. So I'm actually growing in Central Florida at the edge of zone 9B and 10A, and it's about 87 degrees Fahrenheit right now. So it's pretty hot okay so um if you're new here welcome to my channel and don't forget to go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and if you've been hanging out with me before then welcome back okay thanks for joining me on this garden tour as well because this is sewing serenity and i'm kathy on we actually discover how to actually cultivate a serene life through the joys of gardening by learning how to grow your own food preserve delicious harvests and explore the therapeutic benefits of medicinal plants and essential oils so let's go ahead and get started okay so this is pretty much the start where we're gonna start this right here is my savannah cherry um, tree I just have it closest to this door so I have basically two gates so I have it closest to this gate so this is my savannah cherry right here in this pot it's the black pot right over there okay so that's what this is um, savannah cherry okay next to it I have my pigeon peas um, it is getting a little yellow so I do need to give it something I made some compost tea that's what I normally fertilize it with with comfrey and Mexican sunflower so I'll probably just do that later so I did have a few peas that just dropped in there so this is a new plant right here and this is a new one, as you can see down there that, yeah, it's, it's a new plant. All right, let's see if I could have you see. Yep, okay. This right here is my noni. And yep, there's actually some nonis already on it that's growing, like that's a noni right there. Um, let's see. Oh. This is a new one right here too. And that's a noni, that's a noni. So yeah, there's little nonis all over. I've been told that it smells like um, vomit. I mean, yeah, it smells like vomit. Or does it taste like vomit? I don't know, either way. Um, I'm gonna be putting this in my smoothie because it's really beneficial for you. So right here I have my mango tree. And this mango, is my fruit punch mango so it got really tall it wasn't i guess it's the florida heat it just loves it so it's pretty pretty big right um because i just bought it recently probably like two months ago and it was pretty small but yeah it's taken off anyways there's my tree colored right here that i have growing my purple tree colored i love it it's amazing purple tree colored and in here, these little um, buckets, I have some tomatoes growing. Let's see. Okay. So I have that little tomato growing. Um, these are weeds that, yeah, uh, need to just de weed. <sighs> but this is a tomato plant in that bucket. And then in the bucket next to it over here, tomatoes right here, but yep, it's not looking that great. Um, and then in the one next to it, the tomatoes are like completely covered up. But yeah, anyways, this whole thing here is tomatoes. I do need to, I have these tall ones right here is my marigold. This is my zinnias, they're pretty tall. And then I have a few onions in the, containers as well down there so i got them in the five gallon buckets and here is my other tree colored again and down here these are my thai um peppers these red peppers right here that there's one of those bugs on <laughs> so that's my thai pepper right there and this that is one of my um holy basil it just propagated everywhere <laughs> and I thought I had gotten rid of this pineapple ground cherry 
and it still pops up every now and then everywhere in my garden so I do need to pull that out eventually um, and then of course my marigold and my elysium and um, over here this I am actually trying to grow some pink banana squash I did get one but yeah um, not sh I don't have any female flowers on it right now, but I have it growing in this container. You know, trial and error situation. And then I have my cane back there. Okay, this whole bed is filled with um, sweet potatoes. I covered it up because it's supposed to have any things in it, but sweet potatoes overtook that bed. <laughs> in here, I was trying to grow some trombancino squash, but it looked like something just completely decimated it and then it's drying up. It's not doing well. But this, these right here, are my sensitive plants. Let me put that over there so that I can regrow. This is my, um, you see when you touch it, it closes up. This is my mimosas. And I have carrots here. And then, of course, my collards, collard green in this container. I'm growing some more um, tree collard right here. Okay, so over here I basically have flowers. Um, there's nothing in this. I Some sweet potatoes made its way into this and I'm trying to pull it out because that's not what I want to grow in here. Actually, I think I did put a whole lot of um, carrot seeds in here. So I'm hoping some carrots come up in here. But these are my walking onions. When you see most of these onions, it's just walking onions. And then right here, I have my potato mint. It's not like a regular mint. What you do is you eat the tubers of this potato mint. So potato mint growing in that container. And my walking onions. That's supposed to have strawberries <laughs> and more flowers with strawberries and this is my um, longevity spinach and right here that we are next to is my massive Barbados cherry tree every time I try to like cut it so I have pathways to walk it just grows back look at it over there it just grows everywhere so yeah I see that I have a few cherries on it right now Let's see, yep, there's one right there. And there's one right, that's not quite ready though. But the one down there is ready. All right, so let's go through here. So right here I have the world's best um, mulberry, which is right here. And then next to it, I have, hmm, another mulberry, but it's not the world's best, is it? I have um, oh yeah, Thai. <laughs> That's a Thai mulberry next to it. And then I have another pigeon peas that is right there. And then I have my two gnaps. Okay, so let's go on through here. <laughs> okay, so this is a gnap tree because I'm Jamaican. I, I love gnap. I grew up on those stuff. <laughs> And then these two um, big ones right here are also getting up as well. Let's see if I can show you. Okay, so this is a gnap. This is the female gnap right here. And then this over here is the male gnap. So I have these two gnap because you need a male and a female to pollinate each other. And then against the back wall are grapes. We had grapes for the first time this year. It was amazing. And right here, this vine are my um, raspberry and this right here is my um, banana it's Orinoco banana so it's pretty short you know I didn't expect it to be as short as it currently is but yeah it's a pretty short banana I love it though because who don't love bananas right well I know I love it all right so let's continue mm -hmm. Then right next to the banana over here is my grapefruit tree. It's my red ruby grapefruit 
right here next to the banana. And then right in this container that I have is my um, jackfruit tree. You probably can't see it, but let's see if I can give you a good look. Here's my jackfruit tree. Mm -hmm. That's my jackfruit. Okay. Um, back in this grill bag right here is my moringa. So my moringa, it just comes all the way here. Yep, that's my moringa. And then it has moringa pods on it right now. So I put it up here so that it will um, not fall down on me every minute. Oh, doesn't look so good. Some of them look fine though. I'll just wrap this up some more. Okay, so that's my moringa. Okay. So, let's continue on. Oh, and right here, we also have the um, Mexicola um, avocado is right here. This is my Mexicola avocado. Behind it over here is my um, June plum, my original, the big June plum. Oof, the big June plum is right here. And then back there is my strawberry tree, which completely died. I don't know if you can see that, but yep, it completely died. Okay, so right here is my banana another banana this is the Cavendish banana yep and I expected a Cavendish banana to be pretty small well short anyways and it's pretty tall I mean look how tall this Cavendish is and I was told that it was gonna be like a short banana plant but yeah at least I have bananas coming on this one um, this one is giving me a banana right now and this one back here is giving me a banana right now this banana came out first, and then this banana came out second, and then the Orinoco banana started um, last. So I have three um, plants that's currently giving me bananas right now, which is super amazing. Okay. So right next to it is the dwarf June plum. Okay. So now... This is my cassava I have grown in the ground. As you can see, I have certain things in ground, like my bananas and stuff like that, and certain things in pots, like my blueberries, right? This is my blueberry um, bush. And then over here, I have my sugar apple, which is my sweet sap. And I have it in the um, container, and in the container, I have like some peas in there, and Elysium, and... Um, Onions or scallions, really, is what it is. It's scallions. And then I have my dragon fruit. Oh my gosh, it's the first time I've ever seen it's a fruit. I'm gonna get a fruit, guys. Look at that. Do you see that? I have a fruit coming on that dragon fruit. I was wondering if it was ever gonna happen, but oh my gosh, that's a fruit right there. And oh my gosh, it looks like there's another little one coming right there, too. That's that's phenomenal. I'm glad about that. <laughs> so yay, I'm gonna get dragon fruits. All right, so let's continue on. <laughs> okay, so now I have cassava. The dragon fruit made its parents make cassava for some reason. And next to that is my passion fruit. This is my purple passion fruit. And then right here, I have the everberry and mulberry. Oh. And right next to this dwarf um, June plum is my star fruit, which is right here. It gave me a fruit the first time I, um, I bought it, but I haven't gotten anything yet. Oh, and I have a little um, rosemary down there. And then this is also an Everbaron one. This is the original Everbaron mulberry I got. It's currently in the bag. I do need to take it out. And these bananas right here 
are also the Cavendish banana and I have some in pots and the rest in the ground. Okay, so right next to the purple fashion food that I mentioned before is my red Jobota Kala, which is right here. And next to that is my Aki tree. Let me show you that. Okay, so this is my red Jobota Kaba and this is my Aki tree right here. Um, my Aki tree. And then this is my, um, this is my avocado. <laughs> and uh, the name of the avocado slipped me right now, but I would put it, I will let you know what it is on the video. And then this is my guava. I have a few guavas. And then this is my lime tree. It is Persian lime, I believe. Let's see. Um... Yeah, I believe it's Persian because I wanted Persian lime. So this is Persian lime. Okay. And over there in that container is my trombancino squash. So I'm supposed to have a trellis along, along this whole entire fence all the way down to there. But we'll see. <laughs> okay, so right here I have my strawberry guava, which is, as you can see, have some flowers on it now actually this has been having flowers on it every now and then but they just never um, produce anything right so that's a flower right there and when you think it's going to do something I don't know it just drops and it doesn't I'm patient because this guava has been giving me a lot of guavas and so that's my guava tree right there in that container as you can see there is one guava left right here um yeah it looks like it's just one left hmm. okay so let's continue this is my orange tree <laughs> yes like i don't know what is going on with this orange tree but yeah that's how that looks <laughs> In these containers over here these three are all African potato mints which are the tubers as I mentioned before this right here is my cantaloupe growing from I believe that container is growing in this container so yeah it does that and then I have a whole lot of onions in here oh look there is actually one cantaloupe in there let's see Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a cantaloupe. Okay. So um this is a squash. It's pretty hot out. Not too fussy. This is another guava. I do need to spray it down again because it does have these white bugs on it. This is my tropic snow peach. I love this peach. This one is amazing really great peach oh and then i also have another little blueberry bush right in there that's just canes that is i planted the cane looks like it's doing well in there too that came from my dad's house <laughs> and then this is another guava this is the supreme guava and then right in that little bucket is another blueberry the blueberry in that bucket and then this huge thing right here is rosemary and then this is another peach tree right here and let's take a gander yep oh so this i believe is barbados gooseberry these things have like killer spikes on them very dangerous um, this doesn't really have anything in it except the mimosa and this is my okra and my zinnia. My okra is not doing well. Yes, I do need to, um, I have been doing natural pesticide, like, I like guess not pesticide, but I've been doing natural pest management, which is just using some essential oils. Um... But I have celery there. Oh yeah, and I also have a huge thing of celery over there as well. 
over there in the corner in one of those brown containers over there I have a huge patch of celery all right let's continue on okay so right in here is my longevity spinach again as you can see uh, yeah it's a lot <laughs> and then this is my shampoo ginger so it's pretty tall you know pretty nice shampoo ginger right there and then I have a um, banana pepper growing with the shampoo ginger so it's in there okay getting back to over here I have as I mentioned my other peach tree that's my um, Florida Prince peach which is right there <laughs> let's see yep that's my Florida Prince tree and right over here this one is my chaya that's my chaya tree and then that's a plum tree um oh and then this is another lemon catli guava just like the other lemon catli guava that has one on it this is another one and this one gave me a lot of catli guava <sighs> And this is flowering again. Look at that. A lot of flowers on it. So that's great. <laughs> All right. And next to it, this plant is a wax jambu. This is the red one, the red wax jambu. And let's see. Now we're over onto this one. And this is a methylene plum next to it is my orange tree okay so this is my orange tree this is the florida one i believe it is sugar bell mm -hmm. this is a sugar bell orange tree and then this is my Guimachama. Yep, Guimachama. Um, black. Brazilian black cherry. And then all the way down here are all guavas, except a few. Mm -hmm. So this is my bay leaf right here. This is bay leaf. So I put that with like soup and porridge and stuff. Ah, there we go. That's bay leaf. Yep. Bay leaf. And then I have a little, um, this little tiny fig. And then next to it is my allspice. Oof. Okay, that's the allspice. All right. And let's, let's go on back. Okay. My... Gumachama, which is right here, looks beautiful. I love these leaves, they're so pretty. And my sugar bell, um, I gave it a little chop up at the top so that it will branch out. And eventually I'm gonna just cut off down here. All right, so let's continue. I don't know what those are, what was that? All right, so now we're in the middle row. And this is my plantain. This is my Puerto Rican plantain right here. And then this is my lemon tree. I've had it for a couple years now. And my lemon tree, I think the lemons, they do a lot better in the ground compared to in containers, like like with my orange on my lime tree. But I'll put them in the ground eventually, just not right now. All right, so right here I have my pretty and pretty pretty peppers these are like all sweet peppers it's beautiful look all those pretty colors I just love that okay and then more of the pretty peppers yep that is a watermelon that needs to be taken off <laughs> needs to get that watermelon right there and then I have some eggplants eggplant eggplants all right these all had potatoes in them so I don't need to harvest those containers now, let's see over here. I have some tomatoes growing in here, and as you can see, 
like a few of them coming back up here from out of those um, containers all the way back there. Okay, and this is my plantain. Um, it's a medicinal plant. And then the grow bags, as you can see, are potatoes again. And then this right here is my white mulberry. This is my white mulberry. And then zinnias are everywhere as usual. And this is the everybear mulberry that's in the ground next to my mango. So this is my mango tree. I had like two mangoes off of it this year. So that's amazing. It's pretty small, but it gave me two mangoes. Yay. And they were both yummy. <laughs> okay, over here, in, I had in these three blue containers, um, chocolates, tomatoes. One of them died when I went on vacation. The other two were able to grow back. And I do see that these other two are flowering, which is amazing. And then this is my um, tree of life right here. The plant, it's very medicinal. Okay. And then I have a white mulberry in a brown container and a Pakistani mulberry in the, the blue container. Okay. And then over here, I have um, turmeric growing and as you can see like holy basil are everywhere holy basil mm -hmm. they're everywhere and then this is another cane that my dad gave me it's doing pretty well I'm just testing out to see in here as well I'm growing some um, ginger I haven't seen a ginger come up yet um, just de-weed in this so, yeah, at least the turmeric looks good, <laughs> but no ginger yet. But here's a ginger in this container with the marigold. At least this is a ginger. And I've only seen one ginger so far that popped through. I, I also have another eggplant. And these tomatoes right here in these two blue containers I'm going to get rid of them because I prefer the chocolate tomatoes instead of these I think these are sweet 100s I'm gonna get rid of those and I'm gonna just um, clean up this place I'm showing you everything before I do anything so yes it might not look that great but hey this is my garden and let's be honest Gardening is just not perfect. <laughs> okay, so this is my butterfly garden. You know, where I just have plants for pollinators and stuff like that. And right here I have my Cuban oregano. Okay. And then in here, which is where I have basically the pollinator plants, like the milkweed and the salvias and stuff, I also have a um, lemongrass back there, which that's the lemongrass. Let's see if we can show you. That's the lemongrass back there. And this broadleaf one right here is malanga. So that kind of tastes a bit like potatoes. That's why I grow it. And then I also have my, um, that's, I forgot the name of it, but it's like lemongrass. It helps to um, get rid of those mosquitoes and stuff. Oh, and this is my chaya. Sorry, this is my katuk. <laughs> So Katuk is very um, beneficial as well for your health. It's especially amazing because this Katuk was known for like helping people that are anemic. So this is great. So I have this Katuk right here. I have the Moringa and I have Chaya. And those are all great plants that if you're not planted right now in this zone, you should because they do amazing here and it has amazing health benefits and i do suggest you look up those plants i will tell you about them individually later on um, in other videos but you should look that up because those are amazing all right so what do we have here so i have my towers i do have one spot that currently has nothing right now it has um a five gallon container of my comfrey and my um i put comfrey in it and uh, Mexican sunflower and my tree collard, you know, giving it, it what it needs so I can feed my plants with it. Okay, so this is my strawberry tower. 
So I have strawberry and lemongrass in here. As you can see, most of the strawberries have died. Like, I don't know if this is going to come back. Mm, this came back. Most of these are dead. No worries because um, I will, I have runners everywhere. Like, as you can see over here, these are strawberry runners. Just need to put it back in there. So they can root, you know? Okay. So, yep. All right. So this is my tower. This is Xenia's and Marigold and Elysium at the very base of it. Okay. The next one, I have soybeans. And I have some soybeans in those containers as well over there. Um, but yep, these are soybeans. I wanted to see if they will grow well in here. And it's doing pretty well. Um, I did just plant it in here not that too long ago. But this is what happens when I don't put things in certain holes. Weeds start to make their way through. And it's, it's fine, I guess, but... I just come through and I de-weed them every now and then. Anyways, pigeon peas, soybeans, which is my edamame. Um, these soybeans, what I do is I drink a lot of soy milk that I make. Um, so I'm seeing if I could just grow my own soybeans as well, since I grow so many other things, right? <laughs> okay, so this right here i have i do need to clean up as i said i'm just showing you as is so i have parsley here i have some zucchini um this is my cersei rowan they did very well this is some basil and then i have a pepper here um and then i have a candy pepper here too it is a candy cane pepper i was just so intrigued because when i when i saw the video about the candy cane pepper i was just like oh my gosh it looks so pretty so yeah i'm growing some candy cane pepper they they don't do very well and i could see why because it's just yeah i need to probably um come through and put some make some more spray but anyway, these are some peppers. I have a lot of peppuccinis. Mm. So, here are some peppers right here. This is a pretty pepper. This, it says, I planted Jimmy Nardello. That don't look like Jimmy Nardello. But then again. Mm. Okay. So I have some peppers growing right there. Um, and then that Swiss chard. And that's Cersei growing right there. That is my pepperoncini plants growing peppers and more peppers. So that's pepperoncini. And then I have my sage. That's my pineapple sage. My husband bought that for me. And then over here, my cilantro it went to seed i do need to pull it out and see if i could even collect some of the seeds i'm pretty sure they're all in the grass no worries when they do come up i'll probably just transplant them and this is my roma tomato and i also have um some cucumbers growing as well i have about two cucumbers in here and three in the containers and then i have Let's go take a look at other things. Oh, right here I have these two blackberries. So this is a blackberry plant in this container. This is another blackberry and those other three right there are raspberries. Okay, so I covered them up because the birds, yeah, the birds. <laughs> but they're doing well on the here. All right, now we're over here in these containers. So as I mentioned, we have some strawberries growing in here. This is zedias and some, um, what you see hanging out, these plants right here. 
these plants are ground, um, ground covers. This is um, peanuts, perennial peanuts. So this is perennial peanut, perennial peanuts. You just need to put them back in there. But that's what those are. Oh, All right. And in here is where I have my German chamomile I'm supposed to have in here. Oh yeah, it looked like it's still back there, okay. So I have German chamomile in here, along with my zinnias. So my German chamomile is like all the way back there, it's still very small. And then I have my collards in here. Um, let's see. And then this, I have some beans growing in here, but it looked like I took it out. This, I have some sorrel growing in here. And there seems to be um, a lot of... Okay, and this is my Okinawan spinach. I don't know if you could see them. But this is my Okinawan spinach. It's like green right here and then purple underneath. Gardening can be incredibly relaxing. So why not find your zen in the garden? Join me in the garden where we'll plant, nurture, and unwind together. Trust me, guarding your way to a stress-free day is a total game changer. So why not hit that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel where you'll actually be the first one to know when I drop new videos about gardening in zone 9B and 10A. Let's grow peacefulness and harvest happiness together because you deserve some serenity. See you in the next video.